So what, what do you think about um, like the lack of variety, right? When you like this is probably one of the first times within the past couple of years that you see more than one female rapper in the limelight. Because before it was like, it only could be one. Mm -hmm. It was always Nicki Nick Minaj, Minaj. Yeah. then it became Cardi B. Now it's like all of them put together, Cardi B, Nicki Minaj, and, and uh, Megan Thee Stallion. But I feel like it comes down to what you guys say. Like, it's, at first it started with men coercing these women into uh, saying these, these lyrics, into having, into dressing a certain type of way, into making these types of videos. And that became what sells for the female artists. So now, like what you said earlier, when, uh, you were talking about how Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion were like, this is what sells, this is why we made the song. Like, the political stuff aside, like, we make music to sell music to make money. Mm. And so I feel like... Which is creating like it, enormous that's why, yeah. that's why sometimes it may like variety because now they're doing it to sell because they know what sells. Yeah. But, and, and like, it, it kind of falls on us because the audience, especially the male audience, doesn't really care to hear the female rapper other than unless it's about sex or something mm -hmm. and so that that falls on everyone else well, not just you, the artist if you really listen to their lyrics they'll say that in their songs that they're doing this for the money yeah yeah don't even get me started about recycled like lyrics the same general statements are said in every song over and over again or even with like new incoming artists which are kind of like forced and like um kind of tight neck, bottlenecked into like a box like Mulatto. I was on, literally like, about to say that. And then you have like rappers who have had somewhat of longevity in the game, but not to the same like commercial level, like Young M.A. Because of like, again, this, this tight casted idea of what it means to be a popular uh, female artist or even like Rhapsody, which is again, mm. one of the coldest female artists to ever do mm. it. I don't even know what that would look like. I think it's slowly happening like even with like XXL, it's almost been unheard of that like that type of like, uh, I wanna say character <laughs> has been on like a, like an XXL cypher. Like it's always a Cardi B type of rapper, like a Megan Stallion or a Cash Doll. But this is the first year XXL had um, Chica, mm. who was mm. completely broken from the mold of like the stereotypical like female artist. So like, I think we're like, as a society, we're slowly moving because people are kind of getting tired of hearing the same watered down, like, <laughs> lyrics and like um kind of music to the point where like we want and we're open to like something new and we're actually going out of our way to beg for something new because like i know chica made it xxl and she doesn't even actually have like a project out i don't know if it just showcases just her natural talent is just so impressive that they're like we'll break the mold for you or it just shows that the industry is actually opening up more so if you think about wap and you think about that video do, do you see them being the subjects or the objects uh i feel like they their intention was to be the subject, but yeah. now that everyone's kind of taking it into their own hands to like, cause you know, it's, it's an art form. Everyone can take it and have an interpretation. And so that's where it comes to this whole empowerment thing where, oh yeah, they're, they're the subject, they're empowering women, whatever. And then there's, there's also a lot of people that objectify these women, either they support it because, wow, these are two, three beautiful women on my screen right now, or, <laughs> Wow, I have no control over what they're doing and it irritates me right now. And that's that's kind of where it's at. So I think there's there's so much to unpack with with this question. Yeah. Um, and I think that we, we have to, all, you know, consider the context, right? Even if they walked out in button ups like tuxedos, whatever, they would yeah. still be objectified. The objectification yeah. is not happening because they created WAP. The objectification yeah. Yeah. is happening because of the society that we exist in. And I think when we, like, it's, it's interesting talking about whether or not they're degrading themselves. I think in, in a number of ways, folks are complicit in, in, in perpetuating patriarchy, right? And I think about, like, this the same conversation that comes up when we talk about strippers. And I think that's relevant here because Cardi B used to be a stripper. Sure, yeah. um, and so I, I think that, you know, we have to think about, like, choice. We have to think about, again, how are we framing liberation? Um, and when you talk about whether or not it's degrading, I'm, I'm wondering what is that rooted in for you? Right. That's fair. Um, and, you know, is there a double standard here? Yes. Mm. Is there a double standard here? Yeah. Right. So when we talk <laughs> about say yes. maybe, maybe not. <laughs> yes. Um, when we talk about like these 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 male rappers that yeah. are talking about the same things, Dang. they're like, yes. But yes. I, but, so like that's what I'm saying. If I like critique them as well and also think like, you know, that that's also problematic. 
is, is that me still creating a double standard if I'm, I'm openly critiquing both parties? But you can openly critique them, but yeah. the critiques won't be the same because okay. you, cause there, there are so many ways that we internalize sexism. Like you may say, okay, well, I'm critiquing them equally, but are you? Yeah, okay. Are you? You know? That's I mean, you, you could, but, but pe pe people can make the same argument that male artists are participating in their own destruction as well. Mm -hmm. Right? But I think the female artist gets it differently. That's the, I was talking to my son on our podcast, right? And he was like, yo, that joint is vulgar. They had to change the lyrics. I was like, I can point out to you <laughs> a song yeah. that far exceed the level of vulgarity, vulgarity that you perceive to be in, in WAP. And I was like, it's because of who it's coming from, mm -hmm. right? Like, most of the, the male rappers are saying the same exact things, mm -hmm. but it's coming from their space of power yeah. and what mm -hmm. I'm going to get this person to do to me, right? Mm -hmm. And WAP, even with them saying, like, if you do this, I'll do that. Mm -hmm. Some people you could argue that they're taking control mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. over their own destiny. Like, yo, you can't, yeah. this, ain't, this ain't free. Mm -hmm. Yeah.